I just jumped into the Windows file system and you see I'm in C WAMP. And as I mentioned in a previous video, all our action, all our web files should actually go in the www folder. So I'm going to pop that open. You notice all these projects here. Notice PHP work, how to build, killer action script, killer Ajax. These are all killer sites. And what I'm going to do is notice, notice them here. If we go into this project page, you notice it's the same ones, right? So these are all subdirectories or subfolders within the www folder in WAMP. So I'll just click on one, PHP work. Now this is where I actually wrote our particular script, the one we just wrote. You notice we get our, our root uh, address. You notice the subdirectory, PHP work. And here is our script printing hello world. Let's go back to our actual code. Notice hello world. So let's change this to hello world number one. So I'll save that. Go back to the web browser. You notice, you notice here how it's uh, printed out here. Let's point out a few things. Now let's look at the source page source. Now here's a couple of things you want to, I want you to understand. You notice how hello world number one and hello world are all on one line, though in our PHP code, it's on two lines. This is where you have to draw on your HTML knowledge and you know that HTML doesn't recognize white space, right? So if we go back in the source code, the PHP code literally just printed out these two strings of text, one after the other. And this is how it appears in the HTML. So we're not going to have in the page display, we're not going to have any breaks. If we actually want to insert a break, we have to insert HTML code and tell PHP to insert HTML code. And that's what I'm going to show you now. So we go back here, we got hello world one. And what I'm going to do is insert a simple break, save that, go back to our HTML. Boom, we have a break. Let's view the source. Again, it's all in one line, but here's our break tag. So now we're learning that PHP print statement can be used to print normal text and HTML tags. Before I go on to the next part about writing code, I want to point out one other thing. I, I put a couple of spaces here, so I got lots of white space. I'll save that. Again, you'll notice, I'll refresh the page. It doesn't have any impact in terms of how the HTML is displayed or in terms of our page source. It's important that you understand these distinctions as you're starting to write out your PHP code. You see how it'll affect things as we go along. So thus far, we've looked at PHP code blocks. We've looked at PHP statements. In this case, we're using the built-in thing, the built-in PHP print function that allows us to print text, normal, normal text and HTML text to the page. What I want to show you now is how we can mix and match HTML and PHP within the page so it's a lot easier to edit. The reason I say it's a lot easier to edit is because it's, it's, it's not necessarily a great thing to put the print, to use print commands to print your HTML um, with the PHP. A lot of times you can mix in PHP with HTML to get the effect you want. Let me show you what we're gonna, let me show you by an example and I think it will become very clear. I've modified the PHP code now, so it's simplified. So you notice we've got our PHP block here with our print statement here, and we're printing a string of text here. And of course, we've ended with a semicolon because it's, it's the end of the PHP statement. See, we're learning stuff already. So let's create another PHP code block, which I've done very quickly here. And I'm just going to cut and paste this because cut and paste is good when you're programming because once you know this is well done and it works, you might as well cut and paste it so you, you reduce the chances that you can introduce errors. So I'm going to call this hello world 2. I'm not going to spell it properly because uh, we're pressed for time. But 
No, we're not, but anyway. Um, so now we got one code, one PHP block of code, another PHP block of code, and in here is just a standard HTML page. So I'm just going to copy, I'm just going to actually put in another break. I'll put in two breaks. So what I want to show you here is how we can have, we can intermix PHP blocks with HTML. And so I have a PHP block here, another PHP block here, and I can continue onwards. And it will work just fine. I've saved this page. Let's pop open the browser. Hit refresh. And here we go. It renders properly. Let's look at the page source. You notice the difference? It looks pretty much the same. And for all practical purposes, uh, we can move on. But I wonder if any of you have picked up on a distinction here. If you remember when I just had two pre PHP print statements, one after the other, the text appeared on one line and there was no break. But for some reason now, when I interspersed an HTML, straight HTML, and then I had another PHP statement. So for instance, let me go back rather. This was a PHP statement, this was HTML, and this was another PHP statement. And now we have a space, some white space showing, whereas before we didn't. Let me go back to the code here. Our first PHP statement, HTML, our second PHP statement. And now we have that big space in the actual source code. Oops, let's go back. The space in the source code here, right? The reason for that as compared to before when we had no space, is because, because we're moving in, in and out of the engine. So when the page gets processed, by the way, the pages, PHP pages and all HTML pages get processed from the top down. So, so when this page hits the PHP engine, it starts reading all this stuff, and then it hits some PHP, and hits a PHP block and goes, oh, PHP code, so then the PHP code does its stuff, makes it changes, then it, then it says, oh, it's the end of PHP code, then it goes back into straight HTML, then it keeps processing, oh, more, more PHP, does its stuff, spits out the results, and then continues downwards. The reason we saw some space between our PHP code this time and the actual source code is because we were moving in and out of engine. So it's like PHP engine, no PHP engine, PHP engine. 